Hey, how y'all doing today? I thought I had some quick time to uh, fly the drone for a bit. Uh, today, maybe I'll test out. Um, I actually wanted to test out the uh, the filters more because for me, I'm still kind of guessing which one to, to use during these lighting conditions. And since today, um, it's kind of uh, a lot of clear skies and so forth, I was thinking uh, maybe if nothing else comes out, because last time there was the beaver <laughs> that we took that we took pictures of the beaver, um, that maybe I try flying it with virtually all of the filters. Just so basically there will be reference to videos and which one would look best. There was one interesting news. Uh, basically, maybe you guys seen it. I kept seeing all that drone footage of the drone crashing into the Space Needle in Seattle. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, this is uh, what it looks like. It's a brief clip of it. Uh, what worries me about a clip like that is, as usual, um, I saw it basically in the media outlets and so forth. and. As hard enough as it is to find good places to fly, to practice, and just to capture footage and stuff, I'm afraid things like this will actually make it a lot more difficult. A little unfortunate, because I know, like I said, for people like myself, I just want to use it basically when I'm out, catch like, you know, the spur of the moment sceneries from above. Although I was reading about those new uh, drone law proposals in Canada, and apparently they're going to be a little bit more lax for uh, hobbyist flyers. Apparently they're going to reduce the uh, distance on how far you have to be away from things like uh, airports and stuff, so I guess that's pretty good. And to my knowledge, uh, from my understanding, you might have to have um, insurance as well as pass a knowledge test of sort. It almost makes it sound like uh, flying a drone is going to be like driving a car. In many ways, I'm not against it actually. Um, if they have some kind of streamlined process to enable people like myself to fly for fun like anywhere as long as you're safe, so to speak, I don't have an issue with that. My only concern is whether or not people are going to be ridiculous. For example, um, kind of like this was mentioned the other day, example, um, apparently way back, there were people that were really against like snowboarding where they thought it was so dangerous and it should be banned and so forth. I mean, here, here's a clip of the video. You guys can see what I'm talking about. It's kind of funny. It's like snow surfing, an idea that originated in, where else, California. And they're dangerous because if one of these uh, skateboards or ski boards, whatever they're called, hit a person, they'd break their leg because they're just like a missile. And most of them have no brakes on them. I think the major problem with the snowboards is that they run into people. You know, they can't see behind them. And when you get <laughs> skiers and snowboarders together on a run, you're looking for trouble. Do you see any compromise in the future at all? No, no. Skiing is becoming more and more popular, and uh, if these boards become more and more popular, it's going to be more hassles, um, more confrontation. So we just like to say that we don't want them at all. Like, my hope is drone flying isn't going to be like this. Like, people that don't use it, they don't really understand it, just basing it all on these sensational videos like this drone crashing in the space, you know, for example. Like, I hope it doesn't become like that. The weather's pretty good today. Man, look at the views of the mountains and stuff there. Alright, I guess one of the challenges is to see if I have enough battery to bring the drone go up and down and change the filter each and every time. I still have the one battery and I'm still looking for the uh, best power supply and stuff to charge the Mavic. I guess to do the test for fun too, I'm going to set it on the same shutter speed and ISO for all of them. So that'll be kind of uh, funny just so I guess it'll be a more accurate uh, representation of how much the uh, filters affect the picture based on the lighting condition and all.
Oh, that was fun. Uh, there was another drone flyer and stuff, so we got some uh, footages and stuff. Unfortunately, my battery was running out and I couldn't get that many shots, but uh, we were just saying we might shoot something in the future. But I got all the filter shots and stuff, so you guys can kind of see if the, uh, you know, if there's any difference and stuff. So hopefully it'll help you guys too, because for myself, I still consider myself as a noob trying to determine what the best uh, settings and stuff are. All right, that's it for today. Uh, see you guys next time.